And what can Loyalty 360 do to help you in your journey around customer loyalty, customer experience? Are there different metrics or, or KPIs or you know, you know, what are you looking for that can help you and your team? Uh, look, I think it's a great question. I mean, look, uh, we, we run our company on data, you know, I mean, so big data, little data. And so any kind of data around these, what are great, you know, metrics around CRM or AI or, you know, just in general, just kind of being able to benchmark, you know, ourselves and I'm sure other CEOs would like that as well as just knowing whether you're doing a good or bad job, you know, around the data. I think the, you know, the other area for me is really, really the networking with other CEOs and marketing leaders around how to get the most out of the technology stack or ideas around the AI or just, you know, new, new you know, new technologies coming down the road, I think to me would be, you know, really, really helpful. Uh, and I enjoy, you know, just hearing from other smart people about how they're, how they're, you know, tackling these challenges. The power mark of what you bring um, is the opportunity to make connections, you know, and your member list is, is impressive. And uh, the opportunity it brings to members to connect with one another and have discussions about whether member bases may overlap um, is very, you know, is very, uh, exciting to me, uh, you know, because over time consumers don't think about necessarily their experiences as unique, you know, they'll think about experiences that may bring aggregate value to them. Uh, and it may be Fuel Plus Hotel, you know, as an example, uh, it may be Fuel Plus something else, it may be Fuel Plus Convenience Plus Hotel Plus Rental Car when things get back to normal. So I think as different loyalty ecosystems come forward, uh, we'll start to see consumers looking for aggregation for convenience sake, um, or at least affiliation. So, I mean, that's the part, you know, when you reached out to me that I was excited about, uh, you know, and I, I hadn't had an opportunity to be exposed to um, what your organization was, but, you know, I'm really, really excited to become a bigger part of it. I think it's helpful to just know uh, what's working in certain markets uh, and know the difference within the market. So. But something that might work in Vegas, it's helpful for all those Vegas people, but it might not be the same thing that's working on the Northeast market. And I really think, you know, from from my standpoint at least, and feel free, uh, Ryan, to jump in here, but, you know, any of those benchmarks that you were mentioning, you know, it's always great to be able to see kind of, you know, what else is happening within the industry and, you know, what are some of the really great things that the the other industry leaders are doing that they've seen success or you know maybe some opportunities and challenges the 360 awards is always a great opportunity to see those things it's very high level often um so it's always great to have a little bit more of a deep dive into some of those things and i know loyalty 360 already does a lot of that with these kinds of interviews and and webinars but um you know, that, that's really the area for, for me personally. You know, during the 360 Awards, I had the pleasure of being on a panel um, with, uh, with folks from 7-Eleven, uh, which is just a, a wonderful chance to, to compare our programs and, and to talk through the challenges in a very collaborative fashion. And, and I think as program leaders, we have so much to learn from each other. And, and honestly, Loyalty 360 is the only provider that I really know who has invested at such a rich level in the community, you know, to, to be able to have these events and workshops and discussions in the specific area that, that I would love to see is would you ever consider pairing companies together with like to informally work through an initiative? So, you know, tackle this one. How would you approach this issue or how do you approach, you know, trying to grow membership or to retain spend or to move to a digital platform or or personalization and see if either from a volunteer basis or if you're trying to thrust it upon certain companies, you know, could could a company like mine work with 7-Eleven again and look at personalization, you know, and go offline and maybe have a couple of weeks to come back with a point of view that could then be shared. So it's not so much, you know, like in a panel setting where you may be more off the cuff, but there's really been some work around specific things that we all struggle with or looking at opportunities and maybe could come back with almost kind of like mini white papers of how we broadly attacked with frameworks or perspective some of the biggest challenges that we have. I think there could be some really fun opportunity there for us to partner, helps us work on our networking, but gives something of value back to the other companies to say, yeah, that's something I'm interested in. Let me see how they went about doing it. I think in general, just all of the insights that, that I hear from things like this, from uh, interviews that you guys post online and a lot of your content, I think the most, the best 
way that we can get better and in any industry is to learn from other industries. Oftentimes people are very myopic about the what they look at and their direct competitors. But I think I found that when using um, any of the Loyalty 360 assets or platforms, I've learned the most from people in completely different industries who may have a new and interesting way to look at a problem that I'm trying to solve. So I think ultimately just continuing develop, to develop content like this and creating opportunities for um, you know, marketing professionals or loyalty professionals to create or to connect and learn from each other is, is a great benefit.